Howdy, partner. We are out here in hurricane conditions, and we are gonna make this happen there. It's a river. So look at the gar, look at that print on that fish right there. He's like so up close. I've got my new fish right inside of this box right here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. I have breaking news and that breaking news is Fish Guy Jack is an absolute psycho. Is that really breaking news? I don't think so. As you guys can see, it has been pouring rain all day and it's still continuing. But guess what? My Fish Guy instinct tells me, let's go fishing. The big fish bite in the rain and especially the big snook and the big tarpon, they pile all around what these call little spillways, little overflows, and that's where we're gonna head today. So we're gonna bear the rain, hopefully catch a giant. We also have a package coming in that's scheduled for today. It's still not here yet. So we're gonna do our best to stay dry, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta go catch bait, we gotta go catch some big fish, and we got some fish coming in today. It's gonna be an awesome fish guy video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. We are rocking a monster right now. Mm. I got my eye. We are heading to our first stop of the day, which is gonna be our bait spot. We're gonna go catch some little bluegills, little cichlids right now. We're gonna hopefully get maybe a dozen or so, and then we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna take you guys to an ultra secret spot that I can't believe I'm recording at because you know what, there's a lot of big fish here. And actually you've seen us film there on the main channel before, but never in this style, all right? So we're gonna go see if we can catch some really big snook, some of these big, big canal monsters. These things own the canal, they run the canal, trust me. We might catch them up to 40 inches, 30 pounds, or maybe even a big tarp in a day. When this rain comes down, it's the first thing on my mind, go to the spillway, go catch a big fish. So we're gonna go to the bait spot, we're gonna do our best to stay dry, then we're gonna head all the way down to our spot so see you guys at the bait spot made it to the bait spot it's ultra secret you guys can see it probably over my left shoulder um we are gonna go out there right now with the gopro so you guys are gonna stay dry and so will the camera lady tori and uh i'll just go out there and get soaked because then we got about a 55 minute drive to the spot so breaking out the brand new chesty <sighs> nothing like it see you guys on the water all righty everybody we're walking up to the spot right now we got the rod we got the bucket Hopefully we're gonna walk out of here with a bunch of wonderful looking bait fish. Here we go, hopefully they're here. Haven't been here in a while. Let's get some water in the bucket. Perfect, look at that water, so freaking blue. Oh, okay. See what we're working with, see if we can get them chummed up. I'm gonna throw some bread out here. See if they come up, if not, we're just gonna have to start fishing and just hope eventually they will make their appearance here. That's enough chumming. We're gonna go ahead, get a little piece on the hook here. Let's just see, we're looking for like some three, four inch baits. Nothing crazy, ladies and gentlemen, nothing crazy. This ain't rocket science. All right, this ain't rocket science. Let's see if we can catch one. Oh shoot, no, no you don't. That is exactly what we're after right there a little cichlid i mean just an absolute perfect size right there four or five inches gonna get him inside of the bucket right here and we gotta get if we can get like eight baits like that oh baby we are gonna be in for a day let's see if we can get this one on camera that one ate really close it took us a while for them to show up but i think it's because usually they'll he they'll hear the rain i mean they'll hear the bread hit the water and they'll come running but now they have a bunch of rain hitting the water which sound there's another no no you didn't he got off wow okay they're biting they're biting ladies and gentlemen they're biting they're biting just like this this is all we're doing little freaking burger bun from last night's dinner put it on the hook little tiny hook some 20 pound leader and we're literally not even casting we're just dropping it right here then this is all it takes right there come on wait for one to pick it up Just like that, just like that, we have another cichlid. He came off the hook. Perfect size. Let's go. There's another. <laughs> Fishing in a bear. Oh my God, they keep, they keep easily de-hooking themselves. But that is perfect. That is perfect, that's three. We're gonna be out of here in five minutes. We're gonna be out of here in five freaking minutes. If we can get a couple bluegills, I will be absolutely ecstatically stoked. I mean, I'm talking like three bluegills, like four inches, it's over. Oh, 
we lost one. There's another. Looks like they're all cichlids today. No bluegills mixed in here. My God, every single one has jumped off the hook. Every single solitary one. There's number four. All right, it's this guy. It's gonna be this guy's lucky day, just caught him, but of course one's gotta go back home. So there you go, buddy. Howdy, partner. Guys, we got exactly what we were after. At first I was a little bit worried until I started catching one. I was like, okay, and then we're gonna get, I mean, this right here is just a 10 out of 10, PSA 10, pristine. I think I've got like eight or nine absolute perfect baits. We're gonna slide the camera lady back. Just like that, we have a very, very long drive. So uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. Hopefully they're biting. Hopefully uh, it's what I'm thinking it's gonna be. If not, whatever. We'll take these, we'll feed them to the pond, baby. Let's get on the road. See y'all in a bit of uh, flash. Conditions are not ideal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've arrived at our spot but our spot is underwater. Right here is what we're working with, and as you guys can see, this big yellow clump here is really hammering us. This all right here, the green is totally fine. We just don't want this yellow, and I think that is what we're in right now, but we want to fish right over there, because I have a feeling there's a big old Betsy sitting there for me, waiting for a nice meal, so. I still got to rig the rod and fish, but we need this rain to slow down a little bit, all right? I'll be checking back in here soon. A wise man once said, you can't catch him on the couch, ladies and gentlemen. We are out here in hurricane conditions and we are gonna make this happen. Don't let anyone get in the way of what you gotta get done. And today, I gotta get a video and I wanted to make it the best that I can, so I'm out here in the ring, looking for some leader, found it. We're gonna rig up and we're gonna catch a giant, all right? We're gonna be flipping on the GoPro here soon. We're gonna be fishing right behind this spot here. And uh, hopefully nobody says anything about my parking job because I don't think I'm very legal, but that's okay. People can get by, all right? Hopefully we're gonna catch a big fish. Let's do it. See y'all on the other side. Stay dry, people. All right, we're off to a terrible start, ladies and gentlemen. I just stood in a pile of fire ants. All righty, gonna take this little cichlid, hook him through the nose, rock and roll. Shoot, that was a little off. Ugh. All right, we're engaged. We need to keep a serious eye out for ants, ladies and gents. We're fishing right here in this current, and we're hoping that our cichlid is gonna find his way into a big old snook's mouth, so let's just see. Oh, that's a great cast right there. Come on. There's got to be one in here. Well, ladies and gents, unfortunately, we are completely rained out. We're talking, as I drive closer east, it's fine, but... Sure, show this car right here. See that white car? Look at these white cars driving through right there. It's a river. So Tori and I are gonna make the responsible decision and we're gonna go home. We now have a 52 minute drive home in the pouring down rain it's gonna get worse as we get closer. So I apologize, no fish were caught, but I might stop at one more spot. If not, I'll just feed those fish to the, uh, to the pond. So we got a package that's hopefully arrived if it didn't get deferred, delayed, postponed, whatever. But, uh, yeah. All right, that's a little update. Let's get on with the video. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, yesterday was an absolutely crazy day. A lot worse than I thought it was going to be by a mile. And I'm pretty sure last night at like 2 o'clock in the morning, it actually formed into a hurricane. There was an eye, and it was rotating. So uh, it was pretty crazy. The cars are a mess full of debris. It's still windy. I'm pretty sure the wind was at like 60 miles an hour. And as you guys can see from the pond here, look at how filled the water is. 
I mean, the water is practically coming over, and now we have all the fish right here. Look at the gar. Can you see him well? Mm -hmm. The gar is right there. Everybody's here. The water is so filled. I'm going to have to drain it today, but we still have a bunch of these fish right here that I kept alive overnight. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a feeding. So this is what we were using for bait yesterday. And uh, I'm telling you guys, if it wasn't raining so bad, we would have had a really good chance of catching a really big fish. But hey, at least we now can get some fresh food for these guys. So let's see where Jeremy is. Look at the gar. Look at that print on that fish right there. He is like so up close. And what's great about the rain is that it kind of makes the water a bit more clear, which I don't know what's in the rain, but I swear to you, the water gets more clear after it rains. Here we go, Willie. Really? Oh! You saw that? He absolutely smoked it. We got the guard right here. What's up, buddy? What up, buddy? He wants, look at them. Dude, he, that's a wild caught gar, you guys. We caught that guy in the wild and look at how trained he is. He's right here. What's up, dude? Here's the tarpon. Mm -mm. Oh my God. I wasn't even trying to do that. Woo! Guys, it's like 50 mile an hour winds out here. These gusts are serious, I'm telling you. It's like a hurricane, and we were fishing in it yesterday. It's kind of crazy. There's the guard. Oh yeah, here's the guard. Hey. <gasps> what the? How is he that smart? <laughs> Look at this big Betsy right here for this big catfish. Look at Jeremy. Jeremy, here you go, boy. Here you go. Oh, oh he got away. I what? think he got away. That's okay. That thing will live in here for I don't know, not very long until the catfish absolutely hunt him down and get his butt. The sun's really giving you justice. Is it really? Yeah. It's really giving some light on that mustache? Yeah, you look beautiful. That stash, guys, what is it? November 16th, that's a great day to be alive. Windy out here, boys. Jeremy, come here, boy. Oh, yes, perfect. That was the last and final cichlid, ladies and gentlemen. Good little feeding right there. Sorry, the weather conditions have been absolutely terrible. It's rained since Monday. That's why I'm filming this video the day before uh, you guys are actually seeing it, because I wanted to get out there with some sun and film an awesome video, but you know what? I gotta make do with what I got. So we're gonna head inside now, and I'm gonna catch you guys. The package did arrive yesterday, so uh, I'll throw you guys back to yesterday when we unboxed it. Enjoy. I've got my new fish right inside of this box right here. It just arrived. I already cut it open to make sure everything is looking swell. Everything is good. But as you guys can see, you've never seen me in this brand new performance tee. Take a look at this right here. This is actually the first time Tori is seeing it. This thing is fire. Let me do a twirl. Make sure it looks nice for me. Yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We revamped Big Fish Energy. We got the Mako Shark with the moon and the ocean. It looks so freaking good you guys went crazy on the bass guy shirt you guys went crazy on the respect the locals hoodie and i know you guys can go crazy on this one right here this one actually don't tell anybody Shh. It's my new favorite. just my opinion all right just my opinion so if you guys do want to get one go down click the first link down in my description fish guy shop go get yourself one the holiday season is here and uh it's never too early to start shopping i know i've already started shopping don't worry babe got you before we jump into this box right here i want to give you guys a rundown on the fish because i did have to move a couple of them because the clowns believe it or not there's some angry little fellas i can guarantee you that so here we have it you guys we got a bowl a whole bunch of fish right here we got the sopus tang i believe that's a sopus tang 99 percent sure then we got my butterfly fish and then we got this guy hang on if i can get this guy feeding for you on camera it is one of the here he goes here he goes look at this you guys see the sand coming out of his gills? If he turns and shows me his face, watch this. This is going to be textbook. <gasps> oh! Oh! That's amazing. That is amazing. Look at the emperor right here. Such a beautiful fish. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, four clownfish inside of the aquarium behind me because I'll tell you guys what, they fight. They are fighters, okay? The biggest one is the female and all the little ones are all males and they all compete to be the big female. So that's why when there's some that are kind of near the same size, they fight. So I took them and I put them in my 13 gallon right over there as a quarantine, get them all you know, settle down and then we can try and re-enter them inside here. But I got some fish inside the box. I don't want to bore you guys any longer. I'm going to show you guys one of them and then we got to talk about some cool stuff. All right, ladies and gentle fish. Let me show you guys one bag that we have inside of here. Okay. I'm going to be picky here. This thing right here is one of the most wicked fish I've ever seen because hang on, let me, don't show them inside the box because I don't want to spoil anything. 
This fish right here is absolutely freaking crazy. He looks like he's a zombie, okay? He literally looks like he is a zombie. And the website I bought this guy off of was super interesting, but I hope you guys can get a good look at this. Tell me that's not a, one of the most crazy looking clownfish you've ever seen. He's all white and his face is almost leucistic. He almost looks like a mummy. It's wicked. He barely has any black on him. He's mainly all white. Look at that fish right there. Can you see him well, Tor? That is one of the coolest clownfish freaking ever. At first, I thought it was kind of like a, like a pixarded fish or whatever, but no. This is legit, you guys. This is legit. He looks like a leucistic. He's all white. He's wicked cool. Zummy. Zummy. That was zombie and mummy in one. I was going to say, is he a zombie or is he a mummy? We have to name him. Or is he a zummy? That's his name? His name's Zummy. What do you guys think of Zummy down below? This guy is wicked cool. So, he is pretty big. I don't think we're going to have too much problems with him. So, I'm going to get this guy getting ready for the tank. But in the meantime, we've got some serious plans because... Tori wants to do a little change in my room. I think we're going to move my desk out of here. We're going to get a low white one and then put my 55 down below my TV. What do you guys think? Because it's kind of off on a weird side here. A little strange, a little suspect. I kind of want to have it right underneath the tree. Holy cow. I've got Christmas tree shopping on my mind, guys. Sorry, but I think we're going to be moving the room around a little bit. And I'm pretty pumped up about it because it's cool. We're gonna get this crazy looking fish inside of the bucket right here. Let's get some of that water out. Here he comes. Guys, this clown is wicked. Let me get a light on this fish for you guys before you guys make any assumptions because I kid you not, I've never seen a clown fish like this in my freaking life. Like, I'm not kidding here. This is one of the most wild looking clown fish I have seen in my life like look at him he's literally like all freaking white like the head on him is just absolutely freaking ridiculous and he's almost a little bit see-through like that fish right there is one I've never seen before in person in my life that is like really cool I like Zummy a lot Zummy's dope hopefully he runs the show in here because that would be pretty epic what do you got to say about it look at this guy right here get a, get a close-up on him watch him oh he's, he's a little scared he's a little scared Come on, do your thing, boy. Get in there. Get in the sand. I think he's a little camera shy, you guys. I think he's definitely... <gasps> he might do it. He might do it. He just might. He just might. Nope. All right. Sorry. Thought you were going to do it for me. We got to get a good name for him, too, because he's really clever. He's really cool. I like that guy a lot. All right, we're going to get this guy in the tank. Look at that guy right there. Is that so freaking cool, or is that so dang cool? That is a platinum clownfish, almost. All right, here we go. In you go! Look at that. He's got no orange on him. Zero. No orange at all. He is pure white with just a little bit of black on him. He's a platinum, I swear to you. And he swims like he's freaking possessed. What is his deal? Guys, I think I love him. Babe, do you like him? Mm -hmm. He's cool. He's freaking, he's unique, man. He's got no orange on him. I've never seen a clownfish with no orange on him. He's got to be like some sort of snow because he's all white but i don't know that's a wicked cool fish i'm pumped up with that one right there i do have one more fish inside of the box that i gotta show you guys so let's do it all right here we go you guys this next fish is one i've never had before in my entire life look at this right here i knew tori would like it i knew you would when i saw this guy on the website i was like he's pretty dope and i want to buy him because i knew tori would like it this is a bile fish and he's all white right now and I believe, if I'm not mistaken from the research that I've done, once he goes to my aquarium, he should turn green. So I'm not too sure, but he is really cool. Just keeps swimming, kind of like Dory, but a little bit different. But a file fish. I thought this was a pretty cool fish to buy. What do you think of it, Tor? I think he's cute. Isn't he pretty cool? He looks like an opal. An opal, yeah. He's cool. So this guy's pretty dope. I'm going to get him ready to go inside the aquarium. I'm going to get him in. All right, dude, come on out of there. This is a cool looking fish. Guys, take a look at this dude right here. How crazy. Hey, I'm sorry, little guy. They have no slime coat. They have the weirdest feeling ever to them. Like, so freaking crazy. I'm done picking this guy up after this. But that is such a cool looking fish right there. Super small little mouth. I think he's going to love some pellets. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Quit sifting, boy. Go back to timeout. Get back in your cave. <laughs> I love that fish. Look at him. Watch him. Watch him. He's still going. He's just eating some sand. God, you must be hungry if that's all you eat is sand. Look at him. Okay. 
I'm getting weird. We got to get this fish inside the aquarium and wrap this video up, please. All right, let's get this little meat missile inside there. Boom! There he goes. Different body shape inside here. Look at the cleaner rats already going right up to him like, hey, boy, you want some cleaning? <laughs> Look, he's already turning a little bit green. <gasps> He's yes. literally already turning a little bit green. The cleaner Rass is so good to have in here because he makes sure everybody's clean. We're not bringing any parasites inside of here, which is great about that cleaner Rass. I might get a couple more of them, but I think we're almost to capacity. He's I think changing. we might be. He's changing, ain't he? Yeah, look at that. He is literally changing on the dime. He, he was it, white. He was all white. Now he's got a little bit of a green to him, but wicked, wicked cool fish right there, you guys. So... Where's Zummy? There he is. He's way in the back. You see him back there? Mm -hmm. See him darting around? He is a strange freaking clownfish, but he looks good, but he kind of seems like he has a problem swimming. Can't really tell. He doesn't swim as smoothly as the other guy, but wicked, wicked cool. Two new awesome fish, guys. I'm sorry I've been doing a bit of a lot of buying videos, but the weather here has been crazy. Like I mentioned earlier, the storm yesterday turned into a Category 1 hurricane where... We saw winds almost at 80 miles an hour, and I believe up north it did hit 80, 85. So we had a lot of rain, flooded the streets a little bit, but still trying to bring you guys the content the best I can. It's been a hectic last month, but uh, thank you all for coming back, watching my videos. It really means a lot. Don't forget to go check out fishguide.shop. I'm going to go buy myself a Christmas tree, throw it in the room, and I'll catch you all in that next video. Love you guys. Later.